If we add numbers with different signs, like in this case we have a positive 7 and a negative 2, and they're being added together, we have to keep in mind that positive means a movement to the right, and a negative means movement to the left. So 7 plus negative 2 would look like this. We start at 0, and the 7 right here means we move 7 to the right, so that puts us there. And then the minus 2 means we move from there to to the left. So we go 7 to the right and then 2 to the left, and we end up there at 5. So 7 plus negative 2 is equal to 5. Note that the answer here is positive. And out of these two numbers that we added, the one with the larger absolute value was positive. Let's look at this example, negative 6 plus 4. The negative 6 means we go 6 to the left. So we start at 0 and go to there, 6 to the left. And then the positive 4 means we go from this point 4 to the right. So we go like that, and we end up right there. And that is number negative 2 on the number line. So negative 6 plus 4 is negative 2. Now notice that out of these two original numbers, the negative 6 has the larger absolute value. The negative 1 has the larger absolute value, and the result is negative. And something of that sort is always the case. When adding numbers with opposite signs, the sign of the answer is always going to be the same as the sign of the number with the largest absolute value. So here you think, look at the 7 and the 2, or the negative 2, but just think about those two numbers as if there were no negative signs, 7 and 2, and say, okay, 7 is bigger, and the 7 here is positive, so my answer is positive. In this example, we look at these two numbers and just think about which one is bigger in an absolute sense, the 6 and the 4. 6 is bigger, and the 6 here is negative, so the answer is negative. These concepts lead us to this method for adding numbers with opposite signs. A lot of times you don't want to draw a number line and picture the movement and draw the little arrows, and that's fine. You shouldn't need to every time. There's this procedure which you can use, which essentially accomplishes the same thing. And it's written in the notes here. To add two numbers with opposite sign, you think of the absolute values of the numbers, and you subtract the larger minus the smaller. So you subtract and you get a result, a number. And then you give the result the same sign as the number with the larger absolute value. Now with that in mind, you should be able to do problems like this in your head. And I'll show you, I'll explain my thought process as I go through these. This first one, 6 plus negative 11. The first thing I do is just think of the absolute values of the numbers. So ignore the negative signs. Think 6 and 11 and then subtract the big one minus the small one. So I'm going to think in my mind 11 minus 6, and that's 5, and I write that down. And then I give my answer the same sign as the number out of these two, which has the largest absolute value. And 11 is bigger than 6, and 11 here is negative, so my result is negative, negative 5. And that's my answer. 6 plus negative 11 is negative 5. I'll do this next one a little bit more quickly. I look at the numbers, ignore the negative signs. 12 and 8, I do 12 minus 8, and that's 4. 12 is bigger than 8, and in this case the 12 is positive, so my answer is positive. So I'm done. The answer is just positive 4, or we would just write 4. In this example, negative 2 and 19. In my mind, I ignore the negative signs, and I think of the 2 and the 19, and I subtract the big one minus the small one. 19 minus 2 is 17. 19 is bigger than 2, and the 19 is positive, so my answer is positive. 17 is the answer. In this last example, negative 17 plus 5. I think about 17 and 5. 17 minus 5 is 12, and when I look at these numbers, 17 is bigger than 5, and in this case, the 17 is negative, so my answer is negative. Negative 17 plus 5 is negative 12.